Hey there, everyone, Simitar here, and today I will show you how to make Skyrim almost impossible to beat. A real hardcore challenge. But not just via traditional Bethesda ways like skyrocketing enemies' damage or health, no, that's silly, but with the approach which makes game challenging and fun at the same time. Combat improvements, enemies' AI, spells and abilities, new realistic gameplay features, sneaking rebalance, dynamic new encounters and population additions and of course, brand new creatures and mini-bosses. So altogether game is incredibly challenging, but same incredibly dynamic and rewarding. Let's take a look, shall we? Part 1. Combat Ultimate Combat plus Wildcat Combat of Skyrim these two mods are working great together, massively improving Skyrim's combat. Enemies will be more aggressive and act more tactically in groups, block, dodge, try to corner you and so on. In addition, Ultimate Combat gives many enemies own unique special attacks, better AI and stronger stats to enemies which should logically have that, like giants or dragon priests. And Wildcat adds a wide spectrum of new combat features, stamina cost for regular swings, attacks of opportunity, interruptions and so on, applying for both you and NPCs. Both mods are fully configurable in MCM up to your likings. While Wildcat offers a simple system of injuries, the Wounds mod is a brand different level. It adds a complex system of wounds, cuts, concussions, up to broken bones and similar serious traumas, which you can receive in battle, and which can, and will, if left unhealed, progress to more severe stages, able to completely incapacitate you. With this mod, you'll have to take every fight seriously and be prepared for the consequences of it. Mod is fully configurable in MCM. Stamina matters, no more useless stamina, is a little gem for every combat realism lovers. Remember how power attacks cost a decent amount of stamina in vanilla game, but somehow you're magically able to perform them even with one point of stamina, and many other irrational scenes related. Not anymore. With this mod, no more attacking, blocking, jumping at zero stamina, which makes stamina usage much more tactical rather than just a limiter for sprinting and constant power attacks. Stamina is now actually something that matters, and you should put this into consideration during combat. This mod also has MCM menu, so you can configure all the features. Frost spells and effects drain your stamina, but should also logically affect your attack speed, right? Which is not the case in vanilla game. Slow effects attack speed corrects that. Simple as that. Locational damage, SKSE plugin, not to be confused with original locational damage mod, which was broken. This amazing little gem is a purely SKSE mod, which means it doesn't take a plugin slot and is fully stable as scripts are running standalone from Skyrim Scripts engine. It adds a fully functional locational damage system, head, chest, arms and legs, which is also fully configurable via any file. One of tiny moments which also personally bothered me was automatic crossbow reloading. Reasonable reloading mod adds an MCM configurable reload for crossbows, which you can bind to any hotkey, so crossbow will not shoot again until you actually reload it. Devil in details. The final polishing touch here are two similar mods, no saving in combat and no bounty teleport, which do exactly how they are named not allowing you to save directly in combat, like when you killed a part of enemy group and wanna save your progress before dealing with the rest of them, and not allowing you to fast travel if you have a bounty. Aside from this, I wanted to briefly share news I am super excited about. I now have not less than my personal game store, where you can buy some awesome games. It is probably the most baddest scene I had this year and here is why. You're buying a legit Steam key for a game for the same price it would cost you if buying at Steam itself. But each and every purchase through my store directly supports me, without any additional expenses on your site. The store is selling 10 games, and in future I can add another ones as per your suggestion folks. So if you're interested in any of games that are up in store now, there is no better way to get them and support me at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. The link to the store is in the video description. And now let's continue with mods. Part 2. Enemy Rebalance, AI, Skills and Abilities 
Realistic AI Detection Better Sneaking offers a script-free recalibration of Skyrim detection formula which improves the balance and realism of sneaking. Enemies will have enhanced sight and hearing abilities and will search longer when alerted. Mod has different versions, from one only balancing vanilla sneaking formula a bit to not be that much senseless as it was, up to totally hardcore ones. Revenge of the Enemies is the best enemy overhaul ever made for Skyrim, and a true gift for hardcore fans. This mod revamps AI of almost every enemy in the game, makes them scale better in level with you, and adds many new enemy subtypes and ranks. But most importantly, it gives dozens of new skills and abilities to enemies depending on their type, and completely overhauls each and every boss fight in the game, making every boss truly worth the fight, and requiring you to be really prepared and build a personal tactics for each boss, and also some high-level unique enemies as well. Even only meeting this mod Master Vampires is already making you most likely never go back to other enemy overhaul in a long time. Bring Your Silver is a supplementary enemy mod which focuses on logical resistances for enemies which should have them. For example, ghosts will be almost invulnerable to regular weapons, but of course can be damaged by silver and daedric weapons, undead will have resistance to critical hits, skeletons to arrows, and so on and so forth. This mod plays greatly together with other enemy overhauls in the list, forcing you to be careful and pick certain weapon or magic types for different enemies. Organized Bandits in Skyrim or just Obis is a must-have mod for the most common enemy type in the game, Bandits. Obis rebalances them, making some of them much more formidable enemies, but its main feature is it adds dozens of new bandit types and gangs carefully hand-placed over Skyrim, resulting in over 2000 new bandits. No, no, this doesn't mean there will be just dozens of new bandits everywhere. Placements are usually replacing boring vanilla bandits and only adding new ones where it's necessary. Elemental archers, rogues backstabbing you from stealth, scavengers and looters, necromancers and berserkers, as well as named bandit bosses, bandit patrols and even town raids, and of course, tons of new loot from them. Dragons in vanilla game is a pure joke, like 5-6 mere bandits can kill a regular dragon and giant easily takes down even the ancient one. No unique skills, no real physics, just a big flying chaos. Deadly dragons and dragon combat overhaul combo fixes that with style. Deadly dragons allows you to adjust dragon stats, damage, health, resistances, etc. as well as adding new skills to them and several new dragon species, as well as dragon assault system. Dragon Combat Overhaul takes care about AI and physics. Dragons are much smarter, unpredictable and have realistic physics when landing and swinging tails or wings, so you now have to block those. The injured dragons can now fly away to heal and then return, or even call for reinforcements. Both mods are fully configurable in MCMs. Part 3. Encounters and Population Skyrim Uninged is a one-of-a-kind mod which adds many unique encounters to the game and takes the game to the darker, harder, unpredictable experience. Assassins or vengeful ghosts may attack you out of nowhere, new creepy enemies spawn in places you're used to be peaceful, and so on. Running to them city guards for safety, well, not always a good choice. Stealing from the shop at midnight, you may find yourself in a kind of competitive situation and much, much more. The Populated series is a pack of simple yet effective mods which are adding some more NPCs to places which were logically lacking, like bandit forts, some dungeons and others. More populated civil war battles, traveling merchants and mercenaries, but most importantly, more populated places where you usually fight. DFB Random Encounters with MCM is a great polishing touch for this part. The mod adds hundreds of random encounters all over Skyrim and offers the most wide assortment of enemies ever, but what's even better, it is fully configurable in MCM. You can toggle each enemy type on and off, adjust the encounter chance, strengths, numbers, and so on. Part 4. Creatures and Bosses Skyrim Immersive Creatures is the biggest and best creature mod for Skyrim simple as that. 
but also not just for variety, but is a great addition to challenge. New Dwemer constructs, ghosts, undead, Spriggan matriarchs, beast skeletons, new vampire and gargoyle types, dramans, goblins, or guardians, and many other mythical creatures from rich Elder Scrolls lore, up to even dwarven mechanical dragons. This said, creatures you don't like or don't feel war friendly can be disabled and dozens of other settings can be adjusted in mod configuration menu. Skyrim immersive creatures is a must have mod for every occasion, and certainly a one for a hardcore setup as well. The next recommendation is actually a few different mods, which are adding sort of mini bosses or just really tough encounters to the game, from Draugr cavalry and vampire lord enemies up to iron golems and dwarven colossus. Over 20 small standalone mods, I personally recommend to fill various corners of Skyrim with extremely tough hand-placed encounters. It would take too long to talk about each and every of them in a single video here, so they are simply linked down below. Also don't worry about the plugin count, as you can merge them all without issues. The last but not the least important mod in today's list is Aziz, which is often totally omitted or just used improperly by most of users. At the one hand, Aziz has own spawn system which is irrational, often bugged and should be never used in first tone. On the other hand, it does something no other mod does. Point is, even if you have the hardest setup ever, gameplay often will be somewhat unfair towards enemies as they have new dynamic spells, better perks and so on from the perk, spell, racial overhauls, while most of enemies will never get them. Aziz is able to give the new spells and perks to NPCs, as well as allow humanoid enemies consume healing potions in combat, same as you can. In addition, you can use my personal any files for better balance. While looking as an insignificant feature at the first glance, it makes game much more challenging and adds this needed last one brick to the hardcore setup. That's it for now folks, I hope this video was useful to you, and whether you are a hardcore or casual gamer, you may have picked up a few mods for your personal taste and personal setup. Share your own favorite difficulty increasing mods for Skyrim in comments so I may know if I have missed something maybe. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. And of course I would be super happy if you would check out my new fancy creator store. Stay tuned, stay healthy and stay happy. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.